Hi, this is a sort of unboxing uh, for some new CDs I bought, which were cheap on Amazon. I've got most of these before, but when they're in nice format and ultra cheap on Amazon, they're worth buying. So first off, it's a David Bowie box set, which is called, I don't know what it's called actually, it's just called the David Bowie box set. And it's basically all the albums uh, reality, Heathen, Hours, Earthling, and Exits from Outside. So let's have a look at these. So really nice replicated uh, sleeves. And this one's got two CDs and a booklet. So quite a nice booklet. And the CDs look like this. Nice little sleeves. So, not bad. Monitor. Minosaur. And that one there. Now it says excerpts, but I think what we've got is like remixes. So on the first one, uh, it's just the standard album and on the second one we've got uh, remixes by Trent Reznor, Rubber Mix, Simple Test, Filthy Mix, so it's all the all the extras, lots of Hello Space Boy is, uh, tracks on there, 12 inch remix, double click mix, instrumental, so I'm not sure I've got those, so pretty pleased with that, so quite nice issue. Back, it's a it's a it's a slot in single sleeve, non gate fold that one. Okay, next up is um, Earthling. Great album, this actually. Um, when I first got it, didn't play it much, but uh, really got into it recently. And I got it on vinyl. So this has got a sort of single single glossy front, and then the CDs are tucked in behind, which I'm not that keen on. But there you go. But nice booklet. I do have a hardcover version of this album, so um, I need to check out what the differences are. CD1. And CD2. And that's a bonus disc, which I believe I've got on the, the box set. So, a quick look and see what that includes. So standard album, and then disc two's got various little wonder tracks, remixes, seven years, dead man walking. Yeah, quite a few tracks on there, so quite pleased with that one. Nice package. They won't be remastered or anything, they'll be the same. Well, they will have been remastered from the originals, but they will be the same as the extended sets if you've already got them. So this is ours. I really like this album. Um, it sort of got me coming back to Bowie after after stage, really. Um, so once again, in here, it's a, this is a gatefold with um, booklet. Quite a nice booklet, but a really poor sort of inner sleeve, masticated, and a fairly dull. Um, label on the CD, same as disc 2, so it's the bonus disc, I think I've already got that on the previous one, once again as I said these are these are definitely different because they're in little mini replicate disc um, album covers but apart from that I think they're pretty much the same as the extended hardcover editions. Next up, Heathen, or Heathen. The Heathen is uh, who we're listening to now, isn't it? Uh, Exodus, Bob Marley. Um, so I've just got this on uh, Music on Vinyl. I really like the album. So this has got... So it's non-gatefold non sleeve. Uh, it's 
got the standard artwork, which I've also got in the album version, on the vinyl version. And um, yeah, it looks to be exactly the same inside as the hardcover edition that came out previously. And the extended uh, mixes there. I think there's some live work on there, things like um, Panic in Detroit for a later live gig. So, quite pleased with that. And finally, Reality. This is an album I haven't played much, so getting this again will make me play it. I haven't got this on vinyl. I'm not sure if it is available on vinyl. Um, but there's quite a few um, on CD2, the bonus. You've got Waterloo Sunset, Fly, Queen of All the Tarts, Overture, Rebel Rebel, Little Miss Eleven, Rebel Never Gets Old, Radio Mix, Rebel ne Never Gets Old, Seventh heaven mix and the oh there's an edit and then there's a seventh he heaven mix so great sleeve on this one gatefold once again pretty uninteresting like the hours nice little booklet and pretty poor inner sleeves and Late, what I call lazy labels where they just print straight onto the disc. Push that up. And then in the back there's the final disc. About to get that out. It's got some remixes on there, as I said. Some uh, non Bowie tracks like Waterloo Sunset. So quite a nice little set that, um, I think it was only 20 quid, so uh, well worth having. And then I was watching uh, another unboxing of this Nick Drake um, latest CD issue. I don't think there's any di anything different with these over the, over the last reissues. Um, it's basically a box set which is meant to look like his school box or tuck box or whatever and um, it's got all the classic albums in it plus Made to Love Magic and finally Family Tree which I don't have uh, so quite pleased to have this um, it does say it contains previously released material all five of Nick Drake's albums in their cardboard mini oh, mint pack configurated sleeves not plastic jewel cases and shop posters you can get these separately apparently. So let's have a look. A good sturdy cardboard box. Loads of posters, which I won't bore you with really. Um, essentially there. I'll have a look at one. They're very hard folded. Original artwork from the original displays that um, were in album shops when the albums came out, but I can't really see how they can be usable. They're so they're so hard creased; they, they wouldn't look very good. But still, nice to have. And these albums are in cellophane. So if I just get my knife out, we can we can whip one of those out and have a look at it. I don't know why they're separately wrapped inside. So this is five leaves left. And essentially what you get is uh, a booklet. Quite a nice booklet actually, with all the lyrics in. And some notes. And the other side, you get the album that's not in an inner, so that's got the original it's very early island label on there but quite nice in itself let's take a look at brighter later I've got an original vinyl of this 
don't think it's gatefold though. I think this is gatefold, so that's a bit strange. The original wasn't gatefold, so they've done something with this. Yeah, they've just... The original didn't have that on the back either. A back cover, which wasn't glossy like this, and on the back, the track listing, just like the vinyl, if you if you bought the vinyl. In fact, there it is, look, on the booklet. That was the original back, and that was the front. Um, so it's got the Island Records typed up sheet there, some notes, and some new pictures, and then the tracks. So it's okay. I, I wish they kept the album a bit more authentic. I don't see the point in changing the album design, the cover design. There we are. And that's on the nice pink rim island. I really like the way they uh, they reproduce the actual vinyl label on the CD. I think that's a, a really great, great trick, actually. That's how I'd like to see them all. Okay, this is Pink Moon. This was gatefold, so... I don't think it had those pictures on it. In fact, I don't think it was gatefold. It had that on the back. On the cover. And these images were on a booklet inside. It's the original tape box there from Sound Technics Limited, where it's recorded. And um, let's just have a look at the label. Yeah, another pink moon on uh, the island pink rims. That's really nice. Really like that. Great album, Pink Moon. And then we have Made to Love Magic. Which is... Um, is a posthumous album. with uh, some fan tracks on and the label on here is just a black iron label and then there's a some notes there I think that the RSD 2013 release is the same as this I'll, I'll need to check I think the tracks are pretty much the same. And then finally we've got the Nick Drake family tree. And I didn't buy this when it came out. It didn't sort of appeal to me. I think it's got tracks that um, recorded by his mother. Yeah, Molly Drake. I guess this is just showing um, what influenced Nick Drake. So it's a nice to have, but it's not really an essential in my book. It's not a Nick Drake album as such. I mean, fairly dull house with, you know, completists only really. But nice to have in this set as part of the set. Probably read that at some point. <clears throat> Quite a few books on Nick Drake, so I'm pretty much exhausted. And there's the, the uh, picture of the original tape that these were probably recorded on. So quite nice to hear what his influences were and as well, so a nice box set. Um, at a very very good price on Amazon at the moment so well worth getting if, if you see it. So there we go, two box sets, low price if you're a completist, either Bowie or Nick Drake and I recommend these if you snaffle them up now while they're a good price. See you later.